Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm bringing you this very 90s pastel makeup look. It's a one-toned eyeshadow look which I think is a first for me. I usually work with quite a few different shades so it's very different to just be using one light shade over the eye today but I really love how it's turned out. It's very simple and very minimalistic so it's perfect for any beginners out there as well. So if you're interested in knowing how I got this look just keep on watching. So I'm first going to take my ordinary silicone primer. So what this is doing is prepping my skin for makeup application and it's also going to hide any visible pores. I mainly focus this in the T-zone. So my foundation of choice today is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. It's the two-in-one foundation and concealer in the shade Sand Beige. I just take two pumps of this and apply it all over my face. If I just want a light coverage makeup, I'll just apply one pump. Um, but when I want a more full coverage makeup look, I'll apply the two pumps. Going in with my damp beauty blender to blend that out. I really find the beauty blender works best for me. And then once I've blended my foundation, I go straight in with my concealer. For concealer, I've been absolutely loving my Makeup Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define Concealer. This is in the shade C1. And it seems to have replaced my collection concealer lately, guys. I just really love it. So I apply that under the eyes, on my forehead, down the nose, cupid's bow, chin, and then also underneath my cheekbones. So concealer is basically used just to cover up any imperfections. I apply it to all the high points of my face. And once that's all blended, I'm gonna cream contour. So I'm just taking the Mina 333 concealer. This has also been my favorite cream contour at the moment. I've used it in nearly every video. It is so good, it blends like a dream. Also take this down the sides of my nose, around my lips and to my jawline as well. And then I'm gonna blend that out with my Sigma F56 brush in circular motions. We didn't pack as if we weren't and going back. It doesn't matter if it's true. I've got a feel Just using a smaller brush to blend out the nose contour. The world is waiting and then going in with my beauty blender to blend all the edges. This is where it all blends together nicely. I also posted my Peter Rabbit makeup transformation over on my makeup Instagram. I'll leave a photo by here so you guys can see. This one took some patience, guys, let me tell you that. <laughs> so yeah, if you're not already following me on my makeup account, go ahead and give me a follow. I'd really appreciate it. Now that we're in lockdown, I've got all the time in the world to get creative. So yeah, I will be posting some more transformations. Um, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Bake and Finish Powder um, to bake. I'm just pressing that in underneath my eyes. I'm basically baking wherever we applied the concealer. And then I'm instantly brushing that away I don't like to bake for too long. What are you guys doing to keep yourself busy during lockdown? I've been doing a lot of cooking and baking. I made some Welsh cakes yesterday. They turned out pretty good actually. <laughs> Taking my bronze and contour palette by Makeup Revolution and take this shade here to highlight and this shade here to contour. So I'm just tapping that underneath my eyes. Down my nose. A little to my forehead. A little to my chin and underneath my cheekbones and then I'm going to take whatever's left on the brush and apply that to my lids. I've already primed my lids um, but I haven't set them so quickly contouring my cheekbones. Take this on my nose and 
jawline. The bronzer, I'm taking my Milani Dolce bronzer. And with the bronzer, I flick it back into the hairline, just so it blends nicely. For blusher, I've literally been using this in every single video, and I'm really sorry guys, but it is my favourite blusher. It's the Makeup Revolution Big Peach Blusher. I like it because it's not too pink. I think it's got more of a peachy undertone. I'm so excited for this guys because when I was looking through my highlighter drawer, picking up my highlighter for today's video, um, I reached to the back of the drawer and spotted this palette, which is the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit in collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills. This was my absolute favourite highlighter palette of all time and I'm so glad I found it because I absolutely love it. As you can see, it's well used. My favourite shade was always Glow Get, but today I'm going to take a little bit of Forever Young, I think. Also guys, she's re-released this palette, so you can get your hands on it now. Applying that to my cheekbones, my forehead, I always do like an exclamation mark on my nose, that's actually Nicole Guerrero's trick as well, so a line here and then a dot on the tip of the nose on my cupid's bow as well. So for my eyes today guys, it's going to be a really, really simple look. I'm going to be using this palette. Now I have absolutely no idea who this palette is by. I've had it for a long time and the name has rubbed off. All it says on the front is G and then eyeshadow palette. I know it was an inexpensive palette. Um, basically the only reason I'm using it is because it's got the perfect shade in it for today's look. So I really wanted to do like a pastel eye makeup look. Um, and I was quite inspired by my nails. So I found this blue shade, which is like a matte pastel pale blue, um, which is what I'm gonna use all over my eyes. So I'm just gonna go straight in with the shade. So you could use any blue color. It's just the most pastel baby blue that I have. There's not an awful lot of pigment, guys, but I'm gonna keep working with it and keep blending. And hopefully, this eye is blending better than this eye. Why is that? It's got a bit of a shimmer to it, actually. It looks matte in the palette, but it's very shimmery. But I'm not mad about it. And literally, this is the most simple look ever, guys. I'm just taking one shade. So, literally just this shade and keep building it up. I feel like the 90s are coming back, guys. I was born in the 90s, so I'm living for it. And because it's such a light shade of blue, it's really easy to work with. I'm applying that underneath my eyes as well. Then taking a white eyeliner in my waterline. I'm gonna create a wing using my Wet n Wild Mega Liner in the shade Black. Then taking a coat of mascara to my top lashes. I'm not too fussy with my mascara because we're going to apply falsies anyway. I'm going to be taking my Tatty Lashes Foam Mink Lashes in the style TL4. I'm highlighting my inner corners using my Colourpop Flexitarian Highlighter. There is absolutely no way I can go for a colour on my lip today, guys. I'm going to take a nude. What nude? Though? Do I go this nude or this nude? Hmm. Maybe a bit of both. I could mix them together. I'm outlining my lips using Morphe Spiffy. This is like my go-to lip liner whenever I'm doing a nude lip. And then I'm going to take my NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cashmere Silk. And I'm going to apply that all over my lips. Then I'm going to apply a little bit of my Kat Von D Ophelia just to the centre of the lips. And I'm going to pat that in with my finger. Taking my Morphe Continuous Set Mist to set my face. Mm, that stuff is amazing. I really want to try the matte version as well. Almost done guys. Going to quickly apply some mascara to my bottom lashes and then we'll be finished. So 
So this is the final result guys. I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. I'm absolutely loving these 90s vibes. It's very nostalgic. For some reason it's reminding me of a Britney Spears music video. Do you guys know which one I mean? It's giving me that vibe. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching as always guys. Please give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Keep smiling, stay positive and I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye!